The views, information, or opinions expressed in the podcast are solely the views of the individuals involved and by no means represent absolute facts. Opinions expressed by the host and guests can change at any time. Hey guys, you tuned in tonight with Mahogany Tea Time with Queens and Kings of Royalty podcast. We took a break, but let me tell you, we have a treat on tonight. This is Mm. the ending of this tea. The tea bag is not dry. We have a conversation (laughs) that, baby, is going to be like soppy, soppy, sloopy, sloppy. Okay. Hey, I'm going to take it back to, I know she's going to kill me. Lorraine. Yes, ma'am. All I want to know, because you're so beautiful, by the way. Y'all need to see Lorraine over here. She is so gorgeous. I just love her. I love her spirit. Yeah, I just love her spirit. But look, Lorraine, because you're not going to get by this. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to break it down and ask the question. You ready to date? No. Why? Why, Lorraine? Why not? Because I'm I'm still dating myself. I'm oh, still. I, I get that. Yeah, yeah. I, get I get that. It. I understand I get that. It. And you know, I'm gonna cut you off. But that right there is misconstrued as thinking that you want to, from a guy's standpoint, oh, you want to play the field. No, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. trying to learn me. How mm-hmm. do you learn you? What are you What are you doing to learn you, Lorraine? Right. You have to understand, I was married and I was with this guy for 20-something plus odd years. And in that, you give a lot. Mm-hmm. And so I'm relearning Lorraine. I like mm-hmm. to dance. I like to throw parties. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. to laugh. I like to read books. A lot of that I had to give up. Mm. And so I'm, I'm, I'm taking it back. Mm-hmm. But Ricky was a fun guy. So how did Ricky you- was a fun guy? We liked to dance, but Ricky and I were very different. Mm. Right. Let's talk about different. You mean being married, you can be different when uh, you heck yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, you yeah. can. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know I what? Guess. I was a night owl, and my wife is an early bird. Gotcha. Now that would cause major same, conflict. Same so we had to be on the time schedule. Like, okay, so when we gonna need to get this done, man? Because because I ain't ready to go to bed right now. But, but I'm ready I, to get but, it. I'm ready but to get I got, it. But if I gotta go to bed, I gotta make my sleep time a little early. <laughs> then give me some damn sleep time. So let me get into bed with gotcha. you so we can okay. go. You know what I'm saying? That's but but and, and here's what happened. <laughs> she going to sleep. I give that. Go give me something to eat and watch some TV. And watch more TV. You know? I mean, but 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 you're right. I mean, we you can be. You know, very different because yeah. again, gotcha. I mean, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. you're very different. But back but to you, Lorraine, Lorraine. Let me ask you, how long do you think it's gonna take you to learn you? Because I, I kind of feel kind of selfish right now because I was still always about me, even in my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's every woman. So, so <laughs> how long is it gonna take me? However long it takes. Okay, and, and that's all right, time, and that's okay. Yeah. That's Which, okay. So, yeah, I'm not in a rush for anything. See, that's that's, that's the good. Ra- that's really the route I'm taking. I, I did a Tony, early, I did an early you? rush job. Now listen, and back to you, <laughs> uh, back to you about men don't get uh, our start saying. Let me tell you something. I thought the damn internet was broke. <laughs> But it was who you dated. But you know what? Okay, and let I me had say nothing this. to do with all that. I know she. Posted I woke it. up. I woke up one day and they said, "No, my phone." <laughs> what the hell? This must be broken. <laughs> A thousand? And what? It, it said well, when I woke up. It said in a relationship with Tony Rayburn, but. How, how soon was that after? <laughs> was that too soon? Tracy it was too soon? Passed. Well, here's the thing. Here, here's what I must say. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and given to Lorraine's point, because that's where I'm at now, and that's why I end up going in that path of learning myself. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm better in a relationship. I'm a relationship yeah. guy. Me too. Mm-hmm. Okay? Me too. Me too. Um, you know, my family. Yeah, our relationship people. Right. You know, my dad, my brothers, you know, they, you know, I see that, that, that these men build things and these strong women that's mm-hmm. building with them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. this is what I've always seen yeah. and always been a part of. Yeah. And so just like I wanted a bike and Tonka truck, I wanted a wife. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, I mean, right. these are things in which I wanted as a kid kind of going. So, so, you know, that, that's still there. So I'm, I'm better with that. So I, I remember I was, I was I was feeling very 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 low, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, just getting my head off the pillow was mm-hmm. was, um, 
Yeah. It was very tough. And, and, and so all these things simultaneously happen. It's like my wife passes, and then it's my birthday, our anniversary, Thanksgiving, my best friend dies, and then Christmas. It's a first. And, Every and, first. And, and, and so I was also so making sure that my kids, mm-hmm. my boys, mm-hmm. was okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, but, but you know, it, it, it was just, like I said, I couldn't even get my head off the pillow. And mm-hmm. I remember just having a conversation with a person and kind of going and And it was just being able to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. I hadn't had that in mm-hmm. having a conversation. And sometimes you think, sometimes people or things can be a time. They're, they're for, for, for a time, a yeah, specific. For a season, yeah. You know, and so... I'm thankful that I went through that on mm-hmm. this. I'm not thankful for the other stuff because I got drugged quite a bit by people who didn't even matter and wasn't even part of. Because the people who mattered, you know, was like, hey, you know, if, if, if you're okay. Because one thing that happened when your spouse passes you're not moving on because I'm moving on from them. They're no longer here. That's right. Because if they were here, guess what? We'd all be still we, with them. Be, I promise you. Right. We'd still be with so, them. So, yeah. so, exactly. so right. at, at, at what point, at what point, people, do y'all feel okay? Did y'all think I've grieved enough? Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all think I'm ready? When do y'all feel it's okay now, Tony, you can start having Can I get your permission? Because yeah. guess yeah. what? <clears throat> like every year, when she passes, that everybody always says something. Congratulate! I'm like, you know what? And this is what I told my kids. I said, listen, one time a year, people are gonna mention and say all this, but they don't realize we deal with it 355 days of the year. year. Yeah. yeah, she's not gone just one day. She's gone all those days. Yeah. So, so again, you know, um, you know, getting drug and and and, and seeing, <laughs> but but after that. I realized that was a lot of Tony that I need to capture because I was all in for my family. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I work from home and, and I dropped off, you know, picked up, you know. Uh, it was nothing for Tracy to come in. And, and I'm like, hey, you know, you go and, and I had already ran some baths. Why you just go and, and chill? I didn't already cook, you know. I'm going to, you know, study with the, with the boys and stuff. You know, Jordan, get his thing kind of back and forth, and you kind of go. You know, even though I had on my sleeve, like, ooh, I didn't, I didn't take care of everything. <laughs> By the time I get through, boy, she gonna be fired up because she didn't got the pepper or something sitting there. Right. I get up there, she's not. <laughs> she knocked out. She knocked out. <laughs> Note to self, we ain't gonna pamper too much. <laughs> but, 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 but that's the thing, though. You, you know, you kind of go and you miss those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and so you kind of, you know, again, I had to learn Tony. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. always having to pick up, drop off, do those things. Yeah. And, and now I don't have to do those because I also became an empty nester. Mm-hmm. See, so now everybody's gone. So yeah. now I'm sitting around like, now what do I do? Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. You yeah. know, you talk about the loss that you had and it over that period of time, I too experienced the same thing. I lost Andre April the 2nd. I lost my grandmother 100 years old. She, God bless her, so she was amazing. She passed away at 100 years old, June. Then I lost my mother-in-law, July, and I lost my only brother in August. This was all within a matter of five mm-hmm. months mm-hmm. that I lost that many people yeah. that close to me. And, and, and you know, that's wrong. It really oh my mentally, God, 2020, oh, yeah. if I could burn that year, I would. You know, it was a rough time for me, and... It was just almost like once I got through that, and and I'm not saying that every day is a good day for me. You know what I'm saying? No, I miss those it's like people. It just Absolutely. Happened. You feel like, like I used to talk to my grandmother like, every morning yeah. on my way to work when mm-hmm. I would when I was working in North Dallas. Mm-hmm. She was the only person that was up that early. You know, I would right. call and talk to her. She'd be up at four o'clock in the morning praying, and when I would call her, baby, I just finished praying for you. You know, I don't have those conversations anymore. You know, mm-hmm. I still have my mother, my father here, but. It's, only, it's something about that grandmother, you yeah. know, that still was able to tell you the things that, you know, she say stuff, you're like, Grandma, where did my get that from? You know, where did it come from? You know, you're like, oh, okay, that's what she, that's what she said. But grief is hard. Baby, yeah. Grief is hard. Grief is, you cannot even get a definition <laughs> yes. for the word grief. And I tell you what, when I lost my husband, when he was killed in a tragedy, an uh, automobile accident, 
the thing about it, it took me a minute to kind of grasp. I'm like, God, I'm living right. I'm working. I'm helping people, Lord. And you're going to take the man that I've loved. This, this is a man I can truly say was my best friend. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want you to take him from me, Lord. And then the minute I just say, I found somebody I truly love. I know what love is. And you take him away from yeah. me, God? No, yeah. Lord. And yeah. then you leave all these bad ones here? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so one day it just came over me. He wanted me to take him because he couldn't handle you leaving. So he left you behind to do with you. That's when I knew mm. right then and there mm -hmm. it was time. You know, I said, I get it, God. It yeah. was so My children helped me, guys. My my oldest, she was like, You need a boyfriend. I was like, huh? I was like, what do you mean? She goes, You need to find because I think I was just hovering over right. them, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting that you say that because a very good friend of mine, she's a, a counselor. That's what she does for a living. And she posed this to me one day. I was kind of doing that same thing. I'm like, you know, I was just not getting going. Why would he take that? Look at this clown here. That just mm -hmm. I can think of 15 people not yes. even had a better eye that he could have took out with it instantaneously. But, you know, she said this to me. She said, did you ever think that God saw that you were strong enough to handle it that she couldn't have handled you passing. Mm -hmm. I never even looked mm -hmm. at it. And just like you, it, it, it didn't make me go like, ooh, I'm ready. Right. Because I had the mindset of already that I'm not doing anything wrong from that standpoint. Mine was more or less almost kind of like you. Who am I going to get to? I, look, I need a trainer. Because that's what you women are. Y'all yeah. are our trainers, okay? <laughs> right, so I don't care what man right. we'll try to be all that's tough, right. kind of back and forth. No, dude, it be it behooves you to get a good trainer. That's right. That way, it's gonna make you're gonna be the best version of yourself. Yeah. But I, you don't know if he's a good trainer or not. You know what I'm right. saying? And I don't have enough time left to try to figure out if you're a good trainer or right. not. Right. So I'm gonna sit my butt right here and just wag my tail and just watch the cars go by myself mm -hmm. because I can't take the chance of you not being a good trainer because I got more years behind me than I got okay. in front of me. Yes. And, and, and so these years in front of me, I don't want to do nothing. If I want to run back and forth and chase cars, then I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I forego having somebody to pet me and do those other things because I also know what it feels like to be abused. Mm. Yeah. That's a whole... And I'd rather be running build myself than to be an abusive situation. You better say yeah. that. Yeah. Period. That's, that's good. a whole nother topic. That's I would good. love to yeah. get you to so, come back, so, Tony. So, so that's, that's something because that's another myth that women think that men has no feeling. Because a lot of times we got to put this bravado on and kind of go all this kind of yeah. stuff because, because you know what? Simple as this. You come in um, from work one day and you start crying. Your husband's going to say, baby, what's wrong? Okay? You can come in every day every day and cry and he'll say and he'll still hug you and say what's wrong right. a man you come in one day and it was hard to and you crying you shed a little tear she may you know okay okay you come in day two sniffling you know she gonna side eye you <laughs> nigga if you come in day three then she gonna probably say you better get your punk yeah. ass up in there exactly and, and something gonna go that on you know what I'm saying sure she is, is no longer That's looking at problem. you as a man that you need to be comforted because she don't know that you almost Rang this clown's neck at work, yep, yep. but it took every it ounce of you yep. to walk and make sure because yep. I got family, I got yep. kids, I can't do this. Yep. So I'm so mad that I just want to quit. So she thinks your te your tears of weakness is your tears of but strength because you know what you were thinking about them, yeah, yeah, and not yep. yourself. Well, yep. you know, a lot of time black men, and I always say this, you know, some black women do take their men for granted. You know, their significant other. And what I mean by that is black men go through so much. For many, many years, even with slavery, he had to watch the white man master rape his wife. Right. Do things. He had no control. Couldn't do anything. Right. They and, I'm supposed to be okay with, and I'm supposed to be okay they don't, with that. They, they don't get the respect. And I'm supposed to be okay with that. Uh, yeah, you supposed, <laughs> You don't look like you're okay with nothing, Tony. You look like you don't even, <laughs> Look, let me tell you something, Tony. Man, I would hate to be on the field with you. Man. Even right now. I can see your eyes. You're like a little Chinese over there, man. man. You're like you was red. You look like you was red. Them white teeth, shiny, them pearly eyes, man. And you man. Over there. Now, wait a minute, y'all. Come on. Let's keep it real. And Tony don't think these women don't want him. Can y'all just imagine? The man's single. Look. But he is. But like I just told you. Selective. Like I told you. He's selective. I, okay, but if somebody just say they he wanted, they say Debo's. 
Now that man you was talking to, cause somebody gonna yeah, get they up gonna to the man. Yeah, tomorrow. they gonna reach out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, hey, let's see what we can do. You know me, hey, I'm like, hey, sister, I want you to have me. Hey, girl, tell me about it, girl. Okay, I'm gonna be nice, but anyway, look, check this out. So if somebody just wanted to get with you, oh, you wouldn't go out to eat you know do you want somebody that play tricks do you want somebody that want to be a mom Trick, tricks, you, you, tricks is definitely you needs wanna... to be on the menu oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay you know how can I, they reach tri- you how yeah, can they reach yeah. you yeah. Well, no, what's your see, handle okay, see here's the thing okay but but again what's your nickname but, yeah. but just yeah. like just like Lorraine said <laughs> regaining time back so I'm regaining my time back so I'm not going to give my time now that I'm now just now getting back that I've been gone through my family, through my kids, and through everything else. I'm just not getting this time back that I can just sit down, fix me a meal, and watch TV for myself. And I don't have to worry about somebody saying, you didn't call me. Well, if you want to talk to me, why don't you call me? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's what's so crazy, though, because as black women, we always try to be so politically correct. Even a relationship, but it's okay to turn to like you say. It's okay, okay to call a man if you like him. Call him. Call hey, him. Say, dude, I, I, I like think you. I think that women with each other front more because they don't want to see like they not up on things. Because I've because I've been in a circle and I know a couple of women and say the things that they say they do and they do it. I'm like. Nigga, you know you don't do that. <laughs> you know you don't do that. I know who you married to. I talk to him on a regular basis. I know you don't do that. But Tony, I grew up in the church. I did live a little fantasy. I always, you know, sometimes you're in a little group and you hear the other women or young people talking. So every now and then you told a little lie. Like, I did that. I well, like doing that. Well, well just you know? like guys did that because like everybody, they want to feel like they in the know and all that kind of stuff. But it's unfortunate. You don't need to be doing that when, you, when you're in your 50s. Right. That's well, true. Because here's what, here's what, what, what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do <laughs> Is be something I'm not. Right. Because I can be me every day. Now, either you go, <laughs> look here, either you gonna like this six four mocha chocolate. Girl, he like and a you go, and you go, and no, no, and you gonna absolutely love it. Or you're not Tommy, gonna like you it. You're about to be all. saying this right now. No, I'm there's not, too I'm, many I'm, women I'm out there that, that, that needs a man. Well, yeah, it is. But I might not be the man for them, though. But she might just want to play with you. No, just I'm not to be played with. Oh, you don't like to play? I'm not to be played with. Oh, y'all. Because if I like it, I want to keep it. Well, I, well if some women like to play the game, y'all Well, like then, to they play can, games. then they can go play with those guys who like to play those games. Okay, but g- games. That's not okay. me. But what, what does she have to do with I didn't don't say play the I game. don't want to play games with a person that I find, then yeah, it's well, off the chain. She, but how you going to find her? Are you going to church? You going to try to find her at church? Like I said, love finds you. Okay, you going to go to the liquor store? It can be. Because you know what? Up. She could drop something. I caught it. And be like, oh, here you go. She said, oh, that was a good catch. Oh, no worries. And it just started up a conversation. He going to find you, somebody. You, he going to find somebody at the party. This well, week. he lucky I'm married. Well, I flip this <laughs> I'll be like, I'm getting you, nigga. That's all too. See, so you're but, just lucky but, I'm but, married because I but, call but you see, out. But on see, that but, here's a, but here's the thing, though. What? Because. Okay. I ain't gonna let no good looking man let me tell you sit something. on the side of me Listen. with all that well, talk. Well, here, here, because this. I go to Brahms. And you know what? Brahms has a lot of flavors. I get, no matter how many times I go, no matter how many new flavors I get, I get cherry pecan and cream and chocolate almond. Why? Because I've tried the other different ones. I figured out that this is what I like. And so there's no need me getting something that I don't like. Well, and I'm very specific on yeah. what I like. And if, and if you like what, if you like what, what I like, then it's on. Trust yeah. me, it's okay. on. Well, I go to Popeye's Chicken, and I like a wing and a breast. Okay, every now and then I want to test that thigh. So I don't. Every now and then. See, I wait don't. a minute, hold on. So every now and then it's okay to get out there. Tony, you a man that ain't no woman gonna sit on the side of you. I don't care. She say sanctify and fill with the Holy Ghost. You and them Chinese eyes and you and them white teeth ain't gonna work. So the you question is on the table. What do you like? What do I like? Yeah, what do you like? Well, I like a I like a woman who's um, confident just in her. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> and and has an open mind because Ladies, you because guys hear that? because He's there can be like. things, there can be things you haven't done, but it doesn't mean that you're not willing to do them. It just could have been the partner you with, the person you was with, the time in your life, a lot of different things. Opportunity never open mind, itself. open mind 
presents conversation. Conversation, conversation presents, you know, knowledge of one in of one another. Your your walls come down. You get a chance to talk and know things because you can have better love making, better sex when you know the person. I don't care if you just met them that day. If you don't have some very in depth conversations, you feel like you know. Have you ever met somebody and you felt like you've known them for a long time? Yes. Okay. So, and sometimes you've known somebody for a long time. You're like, who are you? You act like you, you don't even I know don't them. I don't even know you. You're right. Who are you so, right now? So, so, so I think that's, that's what has transpired as we've gotten older, as I've gotten older. You know what? I know. If you don't stimulate up here, ain't nothing else happening. Well, all I'm going to do is Google now. I'm a Google guru. So <laughs> if I want to know something about Tony, y'all. I done heard this conversation. I advise y'all to Google something. No, don't about, Google. No, yeah, go no. on Google, y'all. Uh-uh, don't listen uh-uh, to Tony. Uh-uh. Google his. <laughs> Google, Google, Google. No, see, okay. because, here's the because, thing. It, because I'm very straightforward and very straight oh, to have conversations. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and unfortunately, I think more, you know, black women seem to be, have more issues when it comes to sex. You know? Oh, that's a lie. That's a thing. No, well, ain't okay. True. Well, mm-hmm. Okay. Now, let me tell you. Listen. Okay, okay. Listen. Now, listen here. Listen. Now, you're saying that. Now. I've had more conversation. I ain't talking about the guys who just Come on. sitting around who wants to, you know, play the streets. I'm talking about devoted men who have who are good, upstanding, class, you know, God fearing men. You know, even even ones who have been married. All of those things. Right. I mean, uh, trying to do the right thing, and it's just like it's the same issue. It's, it's it's almost like that they think that sex and making love is not part of the equation anymore. You know what? Look, I don't care about your size. I don't care about your size. Then you know what? As long as you, as long as look, you need to, you need to look. You need to be. You need to stretch. You need to do something. You know. You know what I'm saying? But you need to make yourself active. You need to make yourself active from that standpoint. Okay, I agree. So y'all need to take notes. Okay, we black women need to be a little more active. And then they get so mad and say, go, "Ooh, minute. all the white so, women is taking all our women." Uh, uh-uh, y'all oh, didn't give you're us away. You give them away. Y'all didn't give us the opportunity to swing from the uh, the Jeez. ceiling fan, you know? Because or, y'all went y'all to Koji and you're like, "Ooh, I can't do that. I'm gonna that. stay in the bathroom for an hour. I can't I do that. Women. I'm gonna go straight to hell if you." I did. I yeah. did. I had the long gown. No okay. Yeah, y'all want to do it on Tuesday nights under the covers. With the lights off. Well, uh, I even had my. <laughs> wait a minute! I even had my bra on. See, I that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what? What am I supposed yeah. to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know no better. What am I supposed to do you, with this? You, well, your man, out, your husband, ought to teach you how to do it. How can you can't teach somebody who's not willing to well, learn? What if she was a virgin when she first got married? But it's still her mental. But it's she her mental. Know. It's her mental. You know what? Remember I said an open mind? But she Just because know. she was a virgin, it could have been a lot of different reasons why she was a virgin. Well, she was a virgin because we was taught not to give it up. Okay, fine. Until we was well, married. Well, you know what? Then now, she's like, well, if she's want a real one, and one, she's like, did you ever Just, see, wait a minute, did you ever see Which Way Is Up with <laughs> Richard Pryor? <laughs> Did you ever see Miss Goodnight when he walked in the door, when she looked at her, when she finally said, this is what I'm about to do, then you know what? When she finally came unglued, when he kept giving her the wine and she finally, her walls came down, uh, she kicked off her shoes. You right. She says, oh, and that's my point. Quit sending your representative. If you're a freak, be okay with being a freak. <laughs> if you don't want to be a freak, be okay with that. And find somebody who is not. Don't try to get with this guy who you know he wants these things just because you like the way he looked, the what he drives, what he how he lives, how much money he made. Don't try to look at those things and, and, and settle and for why, those things. And, and we as men don't get that opportunity. We don't get the opportunity as women to size up and to settle and to do those things because we got to fork out. You know, when we get it, we got to put out. We got to pay for a thing. We got to take care. Of, we got to do a whole lot of things. So we don't get we don't get the chance. We don't get buyer's remorse. What well, things have changed <laughs> because women today, if that man mm. is like an investment, mm. right? Mm. If he got somebody like you sitting on the side of mm. a good looking woman and mm. she got it going on and she want to test the water. Hey, baby, you want to go out and eat today? Hey, baby, you come to my place. You get to see her nice place, everything. And all of a sudden, she's going to, I'm going to change clothes. I'll be right back. I'm going to get comfortable. Get You're like, oh, we, I want some of that. Next thing you know, y'all lying down, sitting down. Next thing you know, you wake up. The next morning, y'all together, right? 
Come on, Tony. Well, talk to me. Don't get quiet well, on well, me. The reason why Don't I was quiet, quiet because I have gotten all the way that, that oh boy, I'm finna get this now. And I was saying, oh, let's just sit here and talk. Talk? Nigga, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Tired of talking. We didn't drink two bottles of wine. <laughs> Right. You, hey, every time you get in the mood, I hear the squish, squish, squish sound. <laughs> and all you can give me is, well, I just want to know a little bit more about you. What else you want to know? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's excuses. That's excuses. But you know what? Sometimes, mm -mm, you know. Mm -mm, don't right. say, you, you about to make an excuse. You, you, you about to make another excuse uh, for an excuse. You know what? Sometimes you might want that thing, but mm. sometimes something don't look right. Maybe it ain't the right size. Maybe he didn't take a bath. Maybe it's something, you know, she just didn't like about that. That so ain't going to be my it, scenario. Uh, <laughs> See, y'all, I'm trying to help y'all out. Y'all better call Tony. That you ain't going to be look, my scenario. I, wait a minute. What you know if what? I do say Listen, call Tyrone? I'm not a rocket science but I appreciate the abilities he did give me <laughs> ladies don't hold that ladies <laughs> ladies let me tell y'all something I told y'all Tony when we started this tea all right I tea so cold right now but tea, the tea just got hot again mine was cold y'all this man is out of control look this is what I'm talking about but this is a real black man he's telling the truth whether we want to face it or not I think that's in relationships we're not honest with one another exactly you know if yeah. somebody when you come into a relationship like I might be the person that's affectionate I want it every night my boyfriend a significant other I didn't know he didn't like sex like that. Mm -hmm. He just wanted hit and miss. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'd known that, we wouldn't have talked at all. There I you would go. say, hey, you, 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 hey, brother. And, and, see, and, you, see, you un the and unfortunately, if you meet and have a conversation, you can talk about everything. But when you are just meeting somebody. Right. But if you approach the sex conversation, then all of a sudden they think, oh, that's all you want. No. We talked about going to uh, Africa. We ain't driving down to the airport getting ready to get on the plane, are we? That's right. So, so why we can't talk about that? You know what I'm saying? That's true. We talked about going to the movies. We ain't sitting in the movie right now. We talked about French cuisine. We ain't eating right now, are we? So why is it that we can't approach that and to feel what you I feel about those it. things? And we're adults. We need to have there you those go. serious conversations. Because you need to let me know whether or not, hey, you know, because I, quiet is kept, ma'am, I don't know that I want to have sex with you. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't rose to a level enough to make me want to have sex with you. You ain't stimulated me enough to make me go like, hmm, yeah, I see your thing. Yeah, I see the nice hips. Yeah, I see the nice thighs, but you know what? It's fool's goals. I've seen that before and wasn't nothing there. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I'm telling you. So, 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 yeah, it's looking all good, but you know what? I don't need no trophy. But you I need somebody to get their hands dirty, get off in, get, get off in with the business. What kind of hands dirty? Hmm. What they, what they hmm. have to do to get their hands dirty? Uh, you know what? That's metaphorically. Yes! <laughs> okay, because my hands is the only one that's doing something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, well, look, that's why. I mean, but you still have to keep it real in relationships. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think Absolutely. That's the thing in in, in black relationships, y'all. We are so fake. Yes. Like you said. And, yep. and then that's why we have so many divorces. You know, people get in bad relationship because communication is everything yep. in a relationship yeah. to me. Yep. I'm about communication. Yep. Okay. Like, you know, I used to say all the time, I never marry a man with kids. Especially if he has daughters, because I'm not going to be competing with a daughter. What I end up doing, marrying somebody that has a two or three of them. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I said what I wasn't going to do. But we should have really talked yeah. about that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. We didn't. We just fast forward. That's all we did. Oh, Patrice and Lorraine need to get well, in. I, I, yeah, I'm absolutely. Just gonna, I'm just, I'm, I'm tickled pink. But Stop I, being tickled pink and tell I, the I'm truth. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And I think this goes for all of us. Um, from where we've come from and the grief that we experienced. Mm -hmm. And I can say this, especially for myself. But I think it, uh, uh, it pertains to everyone. If I decide to date a man, it's not because I need him. Mm. It's because I want him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh. You know, that's funny you say that because right. Tony that was, and I were talking about yeah. that. Damn. I had the same mindset. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't need no Negro. I don't need, I, I make my own money. I got my own house. I got my own car. I got da 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 And so, this guy that I'm dating. You wanted him. I had, not only did I want him, but I, and I even told him one time before, I was like, Nigga, I don't need you. Yeah. I, I'm with you because I want you. Right. And then I had to retract that. I had to come back and say, you know what? 
I do need you. Mm. Mm. I need your love. I need your security. I need your protection. I need and you. And Patrice, that's a transparency that most black women do not want to say because in some type of way, that means to think that they're making them look weak and, you and know what? needy. And that's and the way I felt before. And because before, the way it was designed. But now, at 51, at 51, I can honestly say that I need. You need him. I don't I, you right know what at I'm this saying? point in my life, I don't need. Well, that see, right me, now. I didn't know and what I really wanted in a man. I didn't. I, I, I want some part. I wanted him for sex. Some part I wanted him for his and money. that was one of the needs too. Yeah. <laughs> no, but but, but listen, I'm I'm saying, I, I get it. I get it. There's a few things that you know. See, right that's that, 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 right. I forgot you can kind of say, absolutely. but there's some things you don't know because you don't know because you ain't had it yet. But so how do I know what I want when I ain't had it yet? That's my whole point. And then you might have somebody that might just want to travel. You might have somebody want to be a mother. I ain't never want to be no mother. That 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 was not my assignment. Okay, <laughs> I want to. That, that was not my assignment. My assignment was to have that companion. I wanted to be selfish. Have my man all to myself. Yeah. I always, I did. I, yeah. I said, as a child growing up, I want my man. When I want it, I want it. When you I want to travel, a, you I, are a truly anomaly. I'm serious. I, I mean, because you know what? what? I want you know be driving down the street. To, there's so she's on me so much That's what that I, I have to say, girl, when you get off me, I, I don't really want you off me right. but I want to say that to enough to say that because that's still a form for me a form of affection it's just like girl you always a man if I'm sitting on the couch boom you boom but that's you what know? I'm saying and but I you're, anom when, you're anomaly I for feeling that way because I'm, when you I didn't have my father in my life now a father love and your man love is two different things absolutely. and so I think a lot of women need to clarify that and understand mm -hmm. your man is not your daddy yeah. mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that, those, those are not the same assignments so let's just separate that but when you truly get someone that you love and by me not really knowing what love and I started feeling love and knowing love I was like oh I want him under me when I go to bed get under me get in the bed honey where you at come and get in the bed let me put my leg under you <laughs> <laughs> you love hey, and then you go, and you gonna say, "All right now." Yeah, <laughs> that's, was, how, it, that's how he says. All right now. But that's what I'm saying. That's what it's supposed to be about. Yeah, and yeah. I think we've gotten so far from that. When you get in the bed, don't come in here talking about the kids, your 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 child support. I don't care about no child support. I don't care about them kids. I don't care about the dog. I don't care about any of that. Your boss. None Concentrate of that. on but, but, this. But, but see, but herein lies. Baby, but, can you focus? Listen. <laughs> But, oh, but, but, here in, but here in lies the rub, as Shakespeare says, because that goes back to this communication and mm -hmm. being, or stop sitting and representing yourself and, and say what you want yeah. and what you, you need be and who you, you are. Because be here's the thing, you're so, I'm going to say you, but you're so... Um, worried about this person yeah. not accepting you mm -hmm. and you haven't even know them yet yeah. but you're so worried about them not accepting you so you're trying to be something hoping that they will accept yeah. that's yes. not even you and even if they accept that it's still not you so it's still not going to work you better right. preach and I've been guilty we all have been we guilty have. Have. because you know have. what because at certain times in our life or whatever have happened that day that week or that period of time we felt the the, the felt we want to be needed I want it mm -hmm. and sometimes we reach it, shit it didn't matter who was the one who was the recipient at that point <laughs> who was given the want and the need because my my, I'm just being real sometimes you know what was your name was what oh okay <laughs> I, I, I'm saying from that's the standpoint. That's what I'm saying. Uh, exactly. So that's what I'm saying from the stand, from the standpoint of 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 sometimes that desire to be needed and wanted, you know, is overwhelming and is not from who is the bigger thing. I just need this right then. Yeah, my goodness. But you know, the thing about it is that I always just think of this: when you have a real man. A real man. What's a real man? Hold on. Can you define what a real man, well, real man. Well, a real man is? Me, the yes. The one that just rocked my world. He has a job. He take care of all my needs. I said all of them. Not some of them. All of them. <laughs> and I'm talking about from the top to the bottom. Yes. Right? Yes. All yes. of that and some more. And okay, some. I want him to cook, But have you ever me. been with somebody? I want him to shower. And what you going to do? Because be right now, all I know, all I hear is Toby. No, this no. like, I got a question. <laughs> I wash his beard for him if he has a beard. Oh, Lord. 
Okay, that's Jerry you name Carl you name one Jerry. thing you name one thing you was gonna do, but he got to do fifty no, I, things. No, 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 no. The more wait a minute, this is the deal. Wait a minute. The more he make me feel good, the more he gonna get. But have and you the more, ever and the more he gonna have to do. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but have you ever been with somebody that you? You enjoy being with them. It's like mm-hmm. you don't get tired oh, of yeah. being around this person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you you want this person in your presence. You you just want to be with them. And she had that well, glow. See, I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. See, see, here's the thing. See, you you in a whole look here. Yes. You in a whole look here. You in a whole different, different realm than me and her. Okay. Yeah. 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 You in a whole different. You in a whole different realm than over here. See, see, see. I'm I'm getting that same glow by just being able to to sit out back in my yard. Yeah. You know, That's, listen to some music. Say that. You know, uh, I'm, I'm I'm smoking me a cigar. Four twenty. And, Four and, 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 uh, that either one because I got that going with my cigar. I got some. I got some music playing. I have a creek that runs through my backyard. My dog's just kind of running. I'm just sitting there enjoying. I also, I also like being naked. So that's, that's yeah. so I'm sitting in my, just being able to sit there and have this time. Yeah. Yeah. Is I'm pinching, I'm I'm pinching myself sometimes. Going like, damn, this is my life. Is somebody gonna come in here yeah. and say, that, you know, hey, get up, the gig is up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because. You know, ain't nobody asked me nothing. I ain't got to go nowhere. I ain't got to do nothing. I'm just sitting here. You don't have to tell nobody where you going. Look, look, at, look, look at the rain. The rain look like she done just got out of college. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you sitting there, you just kind of like, who? Because, because, and and then you shed just a small tear because you know from whence you've come, mm. and you're appreciative of where you are right, right then. Now. So mm-hmm. you know what. Right then, I'm not trying to figure out who who I'm going to be with. I'm appreciating the moment that I have right now from the journey it has got me to that point right there. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying because I've been so much of always on to next, on to next. I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is appreciate the here and now. I'll let tomorrow take care of itself. That's right. I can't do nothing about yesterday. That's right. Let me enjoy today. That's it. Right. But you One know, but you're somewhere else because well, it's no, all over saying. your face. <laughs> It's all in that green. Let me just say this quickly. The thing that I admire about the three of you, two females and a male, is that y'all made vows to God to death do y'all part. Mm-hmm. And y'all deserve to be happy and do whatever. Rock y'all world. Because God is pleased in what y'all did when y'all significant others transitioned. God gave them their wing. And I admire, and I mean, this is no joking, no laughing. It just really, I hope I be the exact same way. Because just to sit here, I can't imagine Ricky, you know, like I got my wife here. I might have messed up, but my wife is here. She washing me. She cleaning. Take your wife sitting there. You trying to go find the finest doctors. You trying to make it happen. You know, your strength. You doing all that you can for your wife. And she knows this before she get her wing. Your husband, all the tragedy, the pain, baby, it's going to be all right. So I want y'all to know y'all deserve it. I mean, whatever y'all want to do, y'all free to do it. Yeah. yeah. And I think that the part that I want people who are in our shoes or maybe just starting off on this mm-hmm. journey, there is an other side to it. Yeah. 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 You go through the grief, you go through you the anger, do. you go yeah. through the pain. Yeah. But there is a part yes. where there's joy. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I think you get there. And I think one yeah. other thing That's what Patrice is said. that. Um, my counselor said this that you know you guys can see this but he said grief right now is like your fist Mm -hmm. you can't see nothing around it Mm -hmm. all you can see is just your grief he says over the course of time your grief never leaves Mm -hmm. but your grief moves back this way starts moving away and now I can start seeing things around the grief I can start grief is going to always be there that's right because this is my wife who I love and all of my children and and so grief is going to always be there but but I don't have to grieve every day. We don't have to right. grieve constantly from that standpoint. And I think that's one of the things that that people who have lost and, and, and need to experience it to understand is everybody grieve differently. Yes, mm. Everybody don't let somebody else try to tell you what yeah. they did. I don't yeah. care if you're talking to another person who lost their spouse. That's right. Everybody it's is different. different. Grief and is so different. you that's have right. to deal with it from your standpoint. But the one thing. The one thing I would say is, t- 
talk to somebody though. That's right. Whether That's it's right. somebody somebody you know or you know what? Get a counselor, somebody who you don't know at all that you can kind of go. Because a lot of times you'll probably spend maybe five minutes talking about grief. You'll start talking about so many other things right. that has nothing to do yeah. with mm-hmm. the grief. Yeah. And you know what? And that's healing because That's again, right. you don't know a lot of things that was left, you know, just kind of going. Mm-hmm. And, and and especially being in a marriage, you know, I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, we're talking about all the good stuff, but it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, cookies and cream good. every That's day. Right. That's <laughs> right. It wasn't always you know good. You're every, right. Every day wasn't wasn't yeah. wasn't a carousel. wasn't Disneyland. It was a bunch of hey MFs. Hey, get your ass up. You know, it was a whole yeah. bunch of you know back and, really we, nice. and we had that type of level because we didn't take well, uh, we didn't get offended like that. Me, said, it, this is gonna be the last time you call me an MF. He said, yeah. let this be the last. No, time. I, no, I would be. Uh, yeah. That's that's Mister MF to you, motherfucker. Okay. And, and so, but again, but again, though, I mean, and so that, and even not only that, there were questions on the table that after you passed that we, I don't get to answer though. That's right. Yeah. I don't even, there are conversations that we was in the midst of having mm-hmm. that I can no longer yeah. get any resolution from Correct. because this person is no longer there. Yeah. So it's so many different things that, that you got go to mind. deal with. That's why I'm saying when, mm-hmm. uh, uh, of learning oneself and those things because you got to rectify that. It's just like, damn. Baby, where is the damn birth certificates? Where did but you put them? But that's what I'm saying. When when you lose a loved one like that, I learned that I took my husband for granted. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I, like, no doubt. I got to take the trash No out. doubt. Ooh, where's okay. the flashlight? You, What kind of oil go in this car? I don't know what type of oil. I mean, things, and you learn to appreciate yep. the little yes, things. Yes, the little things. The, the little stuff that we thought that mattered. You know, you just like that mattered back then. No, if I could just see him one more time, if, she, listen, if that, we that, could have that with just one more time, or I could smell him or her one more yeah. time, if I could kiss him. Well, you like sometimes you so mad you won't kiss one another because yep. you mad. Don't even want to say. I don't even want. I don't even want to say hi. I'm just gonna walk in. I'm just gonna walk in. Just walk on by right. and go. Mm. And you know, now. she say hi. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But but you know what? I think just in life, you know, life just kind of goes. And and in hindsight, another thing that my counselor said mentioned to me as well said, you know what? Because I was mentioning the same thing. Boy, if I had to do this, I would do this, this, that, and that. And I thought that I was a good husband from that standpoint. But you look and start pitching things and that. I would do this different. He says, Tony, you couldn't do that. I said why? Because that information that you're having right now didn't exist back then. That that information just existed that you're talking about didn't exist then. So right. you can't put something now into a situation that was then. So all, all I'm gonna say is you should enjoy every minute. Y'all, I, I tell you, if this ain't the craziest round table discussion and folks at this table, they drinking more than tea. I don't care what they say. You know, they want all sorts well, of Well, I didn't get to drink none so, of that, look, nor Tom, nor look, was it 420. So y'all just got minutes. so y'all just got straight. But we're gonna be doing it tomorrow the though. Hey, hey, tomorrow the qu- for the birthday game. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> this is part of your journey, isn't it? This birthday party tomorrow? Oh yeah, because okay, so I found Ricky unconscious on the 26th. Mm-hmm. He was dead August 1st. So during my birthday, he, he you know, he wasn't here. So this is part of my celebration. Mm-hmm. Hey, now. Y'all, I, I and we're going to kick it, too. Wait a minute. Hey, I came in hey, this and y'all, they had it crunk. Uh, it wasn't no... Uh, sh- uh, y'all know me. I, I'm enjoying life, Lorraine. Just seeing my friend so happy. I just can't believe she looks so good. Not in the past that she looked back or she haven't. Lorraine, just Lorraine. But when I tell you God is doing a thing, she truly enjoying life. And just to sit, Tony, over here, I'm just loving Tony. This is my brother, y'all. So all y'all women, this ain't my man because I'm married. This is my boy. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Y'all know it's a lot I'm trying to tell. Look, and you over here just smiling and grinning. She trying to get home. With yeah. her man now, y'all. She got a man now. But you know what? Y'all got to tune in. What that next and show going to be about? And what I we going to talk about next? Because we need tomorrow. to let everyone. We're going to meet him tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Hey. No, D-Bone. You're not going to Yeah, gonna I have to be out. Oh, but here come Cameron. But, okay. Uh-oh. Check this out. We finna wrap up. But look, this has been a fantastic night. Tony, when are you coming back? There are some more things we would like to talk about with you. You, you just but, give me the invitation, and my car is driving 35 south. Okay, we're going to bring a couple single women in here that'll be able to talk. <laughs> Talk to Tony, maybe, you know, talk to him a little bit and see where it tests his faith. All right. right. Till next time, guys. We'll see you guys then. Good night, Mohawk Nikki. Woo!